Hey, we're looking at Zechariah chapter 8, verses 9 to 13. Listen up. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, you who have been hearing in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, who spoke in the day the foundation was laid for the house of the Lord of hosts. For before these days there were no wages for man, nor any hire for beast. There was no peace from the enemy for whoever went out or came in. For I said, all men, everyone, against his neighbor. But now I will not treat the remnant of this people as in the former days, says the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give its fruit, the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their due. I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these, and it shall come to pass that just as you were a curse among the nations, O house of Judah and house of Israel, so I will save you and you shall be a blessing. Do not fear, let your hands be strong. God points to what he's been doing in their day. The temple's been restored, the exile's ended, people are coming back. It's, it's good days for the people of God. God's blessing will be restored. I mean, this is symbolized by the, the abundance of fruit, the blessing in harvests, all these kind of things that's mentioned here. The remnant will possess all these. There's always a remnant. God preserves a remnant. The blessings are for them. I mean, if other people are called to return, please return, says he, and they say, nope, we're, we're going to stay over here and live by Burger King. The blessing might not be for them. But you, if you return, if you're faithful, if you come back, if you follow the directive, the blessings that God gives for his people, those things will be there for you. The remnant, they're always there. God has them. They're seldom in control of religious bodies, but there are faithful people, and God has a work that he's doing. They're serious. Maybe they felt, they're felt to be overly serious. They're the conscience of the religious movement, and they're pretty important. You've really got to have those people. The people in control, sometimes those people will be highly tempted to try to control them. They'll be afraid that, oh no, these, these fanatical people are going to destroy our, our reputation among the worldly people. There are serious, godly people, and you need them. Every religious movement needs them. God's people in these last days. Uh, he wants a remnant. You and I need to do our utmost to, to be those faithful believers in, those, in these crazy days and be faithful to the Lord God of heaven. No, we won't be, you know, tuned in with the world. No, we won't be the latest favored group. Of course not. All who will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So that's kind of like built in, you know. It's kind of like when you buy a shoe with shoelaces. You're going to be tying those shoes. It's built in. You're going to be a Christian. You're going to have some some harassment and, and other things worse than that. It's okay, it's okay, it's built in. Don't worry about it. Jesus is on your side. God's people were a curse among the nations, but he caused them to become a blessing. If God's people preserve their remnant, they will, uh, that movement will benefit. The, the, the blessing of God will be upon it, and God will have his witness. Let's be faithful. Don't let yourself be squeezed out by somebody who doesn't understand Hey, there's a lot of things you and I don't understand. There's a lot of things that, that various people, even, even godly, well-meaning people in the church, may not understand well. But we be, stay on and be faithful. God will bless it. So let you and I just be determined to serve Jesus uh, as though our, our feet are nailed down in the church and we're immovable. And let's be kind to people. Sure, you might have some, some uncomfortable moments in your churches. It might be extremely uncomfortable. It might be very painful. But let's, let's do our utmost to stay in there and hang in there. And the Lord will bring us through. And most of the time it's going to come out in the end in a way that's a real blessing to you and to others. God wants to do a mighty thing. He's looking for people to do it. These are the days. These are the days of mighty things. We're living in them. Let's not uh, run for the hills just yet. Let's hang in there. Be Bible Christians. God bless you. See you tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.